Green DJ and in today's video I will be reacting right into episode 20 of Tropical Rouge Pretty Hair. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Oh my god. Allergies. Can we just still say last week was the best episode? Excuse me. Oh, God, I want to blow my nose so bad, but I can't. Hmm? Oh, it's pretty. Oh, yeah, you are going to get that, I think. Did it get stolen? Oh, yeah, because... <laughs> about to have Detective Mirorin, aka Detective Misa Mikasa from Attack on Titan about to do her thing. She about to go buy whatever garden on us like right now. Oh my god, let's go! Stop it. <laughs> I can't. What the fuck? <laughs> Because <laughs> I think last week I said, Psh, why should be good in it? <laughs> oh my god. Or Manatsu, she was, you know, Manatsu Hibiki from Dumbo. Like, oh my god, guys, I got the melon pun. Mmm, you know, it's good as heck. Looks pretty. Wanna Instagram that bad boy? Yes. Oh my god. I kind of want to make that now. Yeah. <laughs> Baby, oh my god. <laughs> oh god, that looks so good. It smells good too. Hmm? Did you lose your wallet?
Uh, okay, no. See, what you should have done, <laughs> Monetsu, take the melon pond with you. <laughs> because, of course, someone's gonna eat it. Woo, well, yeah, she, but she ain't gonna have the chance to eat that bad boy. <laughs> Okay, guys, where's the melon bun? Yeah, I bet. Yeah, so you know you want to share it with the rest of us? It's gotta be Kurodun. Kurodun was the only other person, not even person, animal, who was in the room before she left. So it's gotta be Kurodun. Oh, poor baby. I felt bad for her because I, I bet you it was probably good as heck. Mirori? I love this already. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. the elevator and then the stairs. Mhm. Mm so all the all of you had to pass beside Sango, so who got here second after Manato? Well, of course. It's got to be good at him. It was in the bag. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you better check that little cute seal. Did you eat it? Guys, wait, we should still expect, suspect him. He cute as heck. Come on now. Mm, okay, so that's your alibi. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she's best girl, and I don't think best girl would steal from, you know, her roommate and eat something. Okay. Oh, so the bag was there. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. And some meat on it. I mean, hey, she's no Barra for a reason, but I don't think she would eat it without your permission. I don't really think any of you would have. I mean, yeah, she did want the limited edition just as much, but... <laughs> I mean, you know, Manasa would have shared with them. Okay. So then the only other person who could have done it was Songo. Yeah, you could have ate it. <laughs> <laughs> and then went to the library to have an alibi. Well, Miss Sango, a.k.a. Kirby, since you like to eat a lot of things in your series, a.k.a. Lay Back Camp, Lay Back Camp, it's a possibility you ate it. Mm-hmm. See, you were walking, mm-hmm, you were doing the stairs, uh-huh, and you sweeped and you ran when nobody was looking, you ate it, because you're Kirby. Come on now, Sango, Lay Camp, Lay Back Camp, Kirby, see, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. 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 Oh, come on now. So who ate, who ate it then? Exactly. What are y'all ain't telling the truth? <laughs> Some go. <laughs> Somebody is lying, like, so bad. Come on now. Are we even going to get a Monster of the Week this week, though? Because <laughs> of this... I mean, no offense. Like, as much as I love this whole episode on a mystery. But we ain't going to get no Monster of the Week. That's interesting, though. <coughs> Excuse me. You can eat when you get back. <laughs> well, we need to figure out who did this before the end of the episode, so... My money's still on Kudadum because, like I said, cute little fairy seal. You cute as heck, but I can't trust you at the same time. You get hungry just as much as I <laughs> Kudadum gets hungry just as much as anyone else. Star shaped. Mm -hmm. And it had five colors on there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
please, can we? Like, we need to fight the villain of the week this week. <laughs> We're finally getting the transformation for everybody. Yay! That's cute. Mm. Just flicked her like she was nothing. Because, you know, a situation is going on right now. Oh. <laughs> it's in the aqua <laughs> Oh my fucking god, Laura. Damn it, Laura. Oh, honey. It was an accident, though. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Was it good, though? I mean, it had to be, because... And besides, if she has to wait a second time for another limited sale, it'll be okay. Maybe. Oh my god. Mm hmm.
Yellow green. Okay. It's more green than yellow, but okay. I mean, but wait, hold on. Wouldn't we consider that lime, though? Well, you know, at least we got the mystery solved about who ate it. <laughs> Didn't think it was going to be Laura. Like, my money was on fucking Kunadu because it made the most sense. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, Kunadu. Got you. No, it's not your fault. Oh. I want Laura's outfit so bad. Yeah. Or she can just make her own. Oh, let's just say that melon pond's. Oh my god. <laughs> mm hmm. It's in the bag, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Good? I want one so bad right now. Like, oh my God. If I... Mm hmm see once again your girl one day one day your girl is gonna go to japan and she's going to find her a melon pun good behind melon bread and she's just gonna have like she's gonna eat it and she's gonna enjoy it and be like my so and friends are eating this except it wasn't a tropical one for them for them it was tropical for me it's just a regular old melon pun but it's okay Go to the beach and eat it on the beach. Oh, my God. Mm. I really enjoyed this. I mean, honestly, Mirodin, she shined a lot in this episode. And I really love the fact that, you know, her voice actress, freaking Mikasa, of course, and Violet Evergarden, gets to have the chance to be funny. Because the only other time where I've heard Mikasa say you be funny is in the... Um, I think it was Attack on Titan, the junior high anime that came out about, like, almost a year after season one came out. And, and of course, that thing was funny as hell. I mean, it, w it was something where she got to be outside of playing a lot of serious characters and such. Heck, I mean, even Violet Evergarden, like, is a, it, it's still much a very serious character for her, but her character in Violet Evergarden is not as serious as Mikasa or even Mirorin because like Mirorin she is serious so okay Mikasa is the serious of the bunch then it's Violet Evergarden and then it's Mirorin because Mirorin can still be fun and stuff but Mirorin at the same time she is very shy and to herself you oh yeah you've never had a summer camp <gasps> oh we're gonna go I'm excited. I am here for this. So freaking here for this. Because we might... Remember, because at the beginning of the series, we we saw her, I'm guessing her father, um, when she was leaving and such. And so that means we get to see her hometown. If we get to see that next week or in the following weeks, I think that would be the best thing because... I, I like the fact that, you know, since she's moved, we've gotten to see um, Mirorin's, Asuka, and Songo's, like, POV of how they see the town, and also Manatsu and um, Laura's POV of seeing it. Now I kind of want to see how Manatsu in her eyes sees her home and how the rest of the girls will see her, her home as well. And then eventually, I do want the girls to meet... Um, or to go to 
the kingdom where Laura is from and to see what the kingdom looks like through their eyes and also through Laura's eyes and to meet the queen and shit like that so I'm guessing we might get that by like episode 25 if not by episode 25 probably by the end of this series when we get very closer to when we find out what the next season of this is going to be after Tropical Bruise is done and I hate to say that because we're still in the beginning we're we're 20 weeks into this show and we still have a long way to go before we are officially done with this show and such but at the same time I'm over here I'm like I don't want it to be over because I love this show so freaking much um, but yeah, I, like I said, this was a really good episode for Mirodi. I mean, everybody did amazing in this, but I, I love to get to see, really to hear, like, the, all, any of the seiyus who have done serious roles. Really, for if we're talking about each individual one, so we just talked about Mirodi. So talking about Laura's, like, I think, because I said the only role that I've seen her in is Sayaka, uh, no, Silica is her online, so... This is a role where she can really be funny and hone her craft because I think her her seiyu is a big big one as well. Everybody is in this from the series and who they're playing. Um, freaking Manatsu, of course, because she played Hibiki and a couple other characters before she got this role, and she's getting close to her most serious role. But she gets to be serious in this show at times. But when JoJo Part Six comes, and I cannot wait for it too. Um, that will officially be her most serious role. For Asuka, of course, that is Nobara, if any of you have seen Jujutsu Kaisen, and how she can still be serious but very funny at times. This, she's, like, really... Re she... Mm, God, no. Because between Jujutsu Kaisen and this, I think now... For for Nobara and Asuka, I think they're pretty much at, like, the same level of seriousness um and such and how very mm, tough that they can be but when it comes to certain things that they like like asuka liking um the cute animal crossing parody game and then um nobara liking shopping and wanting to do this is that that they're because she is a girl and of course us girls we like to go shopping or doing something that makes us feel very girly girl-esque um kirby let's see miss little kirby miss songo um I have to say, because besides this, there's only other, like I said, besides this and Layback Camp and Magical Girl Rising Project, those are the only three shows that I've seen of hers. I think for all three, mm, no. Um, so that would have to probably, probably be like the two or three episodes of Magical Girl Rising Project she was in, even though she was still like kind of goofy in that show, but I loved her. <laughs> I still do even till today. I'd say really more of her role in season two of Layback Camp, she was very much of a leadership. She got that leadership role. And so that's another thing that I'm kind of hoping for this series is as much as I love Manatsu, being the leader and such because of course the pink hair is always the leader no matter what um i do want to see an episode like we got from last year's series healing good where um how hibiki no not hibiki wrong person <laughs> they get a simple gear right now oh my god um <laughs> hinata uh was technically the leader for like one or two episodes because of certain things and it's like that and there was a little bit of pressure on her and such and so she blamed herself so I would like to see any one of the other girls be a leader and such and so that if something bad happens the girls could always not not really always um talk it through or tell that person like it's okay you got this kind of like boost their not boost their ego but like try to get them confident again and being like oh hey like you can do this you got this like don't give up like be the cheerleader for them i think that would be really sweet so hoping here's hoping prayers like do that would love that please and thank you but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 20 of tropical rouge pretty care if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next saturday sunday for episode 21 bye guys